This is Amber Bell from Cal Business Solutions. Today's topic is using navigation lists in Dynamics GP. To navigate to navigation lists, what you can do is log into GP and then whatever feature that you or modules that you use, you can actually use the navigation list. So for my user, I'm an AP person. So I'm going to click on purchasing. Now automatically you see my screen changes and I see the windows for purchasing. But a lot of people ignore that there's a lot of options here on the side. So I'm going to click on vendors. And what this is going to do is give me a list of the vendors in my system. I can see the vendors that are on hold. But looking at this list, I can't see their current balance and I can't see where, what state they're in. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and set up my own navigation list. So here where it says vendors read only, I'm going to do a, a save as. And I'm going to say vendors with balance by state. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. Once it refreshes, it doesn't have those fields yet. We're going to go ahead and add those. So now that I've saved it as a new name, I'm going to go ahead and click on the name again, go down to Customize, and I'm going to go to Columns. And I don't care about the phone number and contact, so I'm going to remove those. And I'm going to pick the state right here, and I'm going to pick the current balance. And I'm going to click OK. I can also choose who I'm going to save this, um, share this with by clicking Share. It's a public one, or else I can make it a private one. Down here, who can change this? I can either make it only available to me for changing. Everyone else just can view it. Right now, I'm going to leave it the way that it defaults, which is that I'm the owner of this, so I'm the only one who can make changes. Everyone else can see it, but they can't make changes. I could pick specific users to make changes, but we're not going to do that right now. I'm going to hit Save. And now you're going to see here I have my state. I can make this a little wider. And I'm going to drag and drop these to the order that I want. So here's my vendor ID, my vendor name, my current balance I'm going to make before the state. And we're going to sort it by current balance. Now I can add filters and say I don't want to see anyone with a balance of zero. So we're going to add a filter. And we're going to say where the current balance is not zero. And we're going to go ahead and run that. And what I can do up here is I can either save it with that filter or not save it and just does it as a one-time filter. We're going to go ahead and save. And then what I really like is I can take these lists, I can check this box, I can send this to Excel, or I can view the transactions that make up that balance. So we're going to go ahead and click this and let this run. And right here we're going to go ahead and say I want to see everything. And then I can see the invoice that makes up that balance, and I can actually drill in and take a look at that. So there's a lot of things you can do off of those navigation lists. I can do filters. I can see who's on hold by just sorting. And I can see these are my two vendors that are on hold. I can double click and open and edit them. As I scroll through, the bottom section of my screen will give me um, the current balance, the last check amount. If I pick a different one, I see their current balance and their last check amount. So all of that can be done right off of the navigation list. If I pick a vendor, I can actually go in and go right to a, a transaction screen. So from here, it'll autofill the vendor ID, and I can start filling in the transaction information. So all of that can be done from navigation lists. If you haven't used them before, we suggest you take a look. And for more tips and tricks, go to our website, www.calzone.com tips, and sign up for our monthly e-newsletter.